Goldfinger drove his car to Switzerland twice a year. Before he left Britain, his workmen at his factory in Reculver took the armor plating out of the car's doors. They replaced the ordinary metal panels with panels of white gold. The white gold was the same color as the armor plating, so customs officials at the airport never suspected that the car's doors were really made of white gold. Then Goldfinger drove the Rolls Royce to his factory in Switzerland. At his factory at Coppe, workmen removed the white gold panels from Goldfinger's car and replaced them with ordinary armor plating again. The panels of white gold were melted in the blast furnaces at Coppe and made into seats for Mecca Airlines planes. Then the Mecca planes were flown to India. In India, the seats were taken out of the planes and replaced with ordinary metal seats. In this way, the gold was smuggled into India, where it was sold. Goldfinger was making a lot of money for Smirsch. It was a very clever operation. Chapter Eight: Death by Gold. After he left the SIS agent in Geneva, Bond drove to the Hotel de Burg and booked a room. He asked the receptionist if Miss Tilly Soames was in her room, but the receptionist said that no one of that name was staying at the hotel. Bond wasn't surprised. He'd suspected that the girl hadn't told him her real name. Bond had a shower, dressed. And put on a pair of shoes with a small knife hidden in one of the heels. Then he drove to a small restaurant by Lake Geneva for dinner. While he ate, he thought about Goldfinger's smuggling operation. Bond decided to go back to Goldfinger's factory at Coppe and look for some white gold dust.